Do you already miss the relative anonymity in which you've you've been working the last couple of years? Um, no, I think it's all it's 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 all been a kind of gradual rise, and uh, everything's kind of come really uh, naturally. I'd say so. I wouldn't say I miss anything because it's kind of opened up naturally, which is cool. Uh, so there are no things that you feel like you hurry too much. No. No, I don't. I think I think everything came at the right time. If there's anything I miss, it's probably like um, uh, being back home with my friends and stuff like that, being at school and stuff, which was fun. But it's good. It's good kind of being where I am now. Uh, what is for you the ultimate form of recognition? Um, being able to make music that people think's written about them. I think having a uh, kind of I don't know, rapport with your, with your audience and having people really connect with the music. Is that a criterion for you, for it to be recognisable? No, because I, I kind of write my music as it's kind of me, like I'm just putting my thoughts and feelings on paper and the fact that people kind of connect with it is, is a positive thing, but it's not how I set out writing the songs. Um, can you already say what effect working in the public eye has on you or has had on you? Um, it's just uh, it's just all been a kind of experience that I've learned from. Um, the effect of it has just been me kind of uh, having a bit more knowledge, I guess. About what, for example? Everything, life, the way people work. Um, are, are you more aware of the way you behave? Do you feel like you're more aware of the um, way you... No, no, I've just, I, 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 am, I am aware that I've changed from being a bit kind of immature and not really sure about things and now I've, I think I've grown up a little bit. Uh, when you look at uh, the people you grew up with, uh, how, how, does, how does your life relate to theirs? Is there, uh, what are the common things? Do you know what, when we all meet up and meet out back, back at home, it's exactly the same as it was, but obviously they go off to university and I go off and do my thing in the year and we kind of uh, live a totally separate life, but when we're kind of all back together, it's completely the same. It's for, for someone who reads your musical endeavor so far, who reads about it or sees what you've done so far, it's hard to believe that it fits in this small amount of time. It seems. Yeah. Uh, 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 what do you consider to be the key moments in the last, let's say, five years? Uh, I'd say leaving school and moving to London was a key moment. Um, I'd say uh, gigging a lot and writing a lot of music and releasing a lot of music. Uh, the internet, using that, doing lots of tours, and uh, I th yeah, I'd say I'd say they're they're, they're key. Um, about just moving to London, how did you survive the first couple of weeks being alone in a city you don't know that well? Just had to learn quick and yeah, grow up fast. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really a survival thing. It was more of a kind of a education thing. What did that, what did those first weeks look like? Um, they were, the first day was lonely and then after that I started meeting people and, and it was, was alright. Um, in 2009 you did a lot of, a lot of gigs uh, mm. in, in London and the surroundings. Um, why that, where does that drive come from? Um, okay, so did you, did you go to university? Yeah, I did. And how long have you been a journalist for? How long have I been what? A, a journalist for? Three years. And do you think if you hadn't gone to university and you'd have started off when you went to university as an intern, you would have learned a lot in the first couple of weeks of doing that, right? Absolutely. And like for, for me, being a, being a musician, like when, I think when you know what you want to do, all you need to do for the first couple of years of your profession is get experience. So my drive from that came from probably your drive being and being an intern, you just wanted to be a journalist so you worked your ass off to get there and I wanted to be a musician so the only way for me to learn is to do a lot of shows. So that was kind of my drive for the first year. But the distinction between uh, studying and work life is, is much less there in your case than it was in mine. Uh, not, not necessarily because um, me doing a gig in front of 10 people and it going badly is a very good lesson and that's technically me studying rather than me working and my work began when my album came out uh, which was only last week so before that that was all my study period that was all me kind of getting to know the whole industry and how to work and how to gig and how to speak to people and now 
the work began last week and I'm, I'm ready.